fundamental starting point is that AWS has always been focused on making sure that builders have the absolute best tools to be successful. We often talk about the 175 plus services as a toolbox where developers can pick exactly the right tool for the job. But developers need more than just the largest purpose-built tool set. They need mechanisms and constructs that combine tools and services into reusable abstractions. In computer science, we've been using abstractions for a long time to encapsulate ideas into reusable components, capable of hiding complex implementations. One well-known example is object-oriented languages. And another one is the idea of immutable data in functional programming. By the way, if you want to learn more about the history of abstractions in programming, I suggest you read the classic paper by Barbara Liskov called Programming with Abstract Data Types. Developers use abstractions all the time to reduce the effort it takes to develop and iterate on their applications. When designed correctly, they also provide guardrails to help developers work within the boundaries that are acceptable for their product domain. And just like physical guardrails, which help keep cars from driving off the road, guardrails in software abstractions can help developers stay on the path of well-architected principles by configuring sensible defaults like things for monitoring and logging and encryption and access management. At AWS, we've developed a number of tools that abstract away the undifferentiated heavy lifting involved in building applications. There's AWS Amplify, which provides front-end developers with a fast, easy way to develop cloud-connected mobile and web applications on AWS. We also created the AWS Serverless Application Model, or SAM, to help developers work with backend serverless services like Amazon API Gateway, AWS Lambda, Amazon DynamoDB. And for cloud architects, developers, and DevOps engineers, we've created the AWS Cloud Development Kit or CDK. The AWS CDK offers a high-level, object-oriented abstraction to define AWS resources imperatively using the power of modern programming languages. It works as a framework for all cloud development, allowing developers to provision architecture using the programming languages IDE and workflow they already know. To me, the CDK is a game changer. I would like to tell you a little bit about how and why we built it. A few years ago, Amazon.com was rebuilding their search service to use a Lambda serverless architecture. This service identified trending products in the Amazon catalog, analyzing Amazon.com events like page views and orders, and then used the events to identify hot products in real time. To support it, the team was building a big data streaming architecture based on Kinesis, Lambda, Amazon Simple Q service, and other AWS services. And because of the global nature and scale of the Amazon catalog, the development team needed to continuously deploy this service to multiple development staging and production environments across a growing number of AWS regions around the world. They wanted to architect the system in a modular way so that each module could be developed and tested in isolation and, if necessary, evolve independently from the other modules. The natural choice for this was AWS CloudFormation, due to the ability to quickly and reliably provision resources in the cloud. It was an established trusted system that could be relied upon to roll out these environments consistently anywhere in the world. But there was an unmet need. And while CloudFormation itself was the right tool for the job, the team needed more than a configuration language like JSON or YAML that could offer them. They needed to be able to express ideas like the ingestion pipeline or the storage layer. There was no concept of an application, just the individual resources that made up the application. The declarative CloudFormation templates expressed which resources they needed to create and which properties to set. But it did not allow them to easily model more complex logic behind these resources. And they were looking for abstractions that would allow them to encapsulate this complexity. 
Now, rather than stick with the traditional cloud formation and the limitations of a declarative configuration language, the team decided to invent and simplify. They designed a high-level object-oriented abstraction that allowed them to work with the power of cloud formation using Java, a general-purpose imperative programming language. The team built an internal abstractions library, which implemented a simple component model called constructs. Constructs individually represent AWS resources of different level of complexity and allow developers to compose a set of cloud formation resource definition into reusable building blocks. With constructs, it was possible to use the same programming language for both infrastructure definition and runtime code, meaning there would be fewer things to learn. Developers could write unit tests that verify each construct produced the expected cloud formation output. They could organize the project into Java modules, share constructs representing common patterns across the project, and instantiate any number of environments. All these capabilities were a direct result of being able to use a general purpose programming language. Their invention of the internal abstractions library for constructs helped deliver the application ahead of schedule and with an improved developer experience along the way. And as is often the case, we quickly found out that AWS customers had the same challenges and needs and that we could help our customers do more by getting the AWS CDK into their hands. We understood from the start that the CDK needed to be available to all programming languages that AWS customers use. Meeting developers where they are is a core tenant of our developer tools vision. So we developed an open source JavaScript interop interface, or JSII, that enables us to write all CDK abstractions once in TypeScript and then publish them to multiple programming languages. JSAI allows code in any programming language to naturally interact with JavaScript classes. It is the technology that enables the AWS CDK to deliver polyglot libraries from a single code base. A class library written in TypeScript can be used in projects authored in TypeScript or JavaScript as usual, but also in Python, Java, C Sharp, and some of the other languages of the .NET family, and with support for Golang coming soon. Consider the following very simple TypeScript class, hello JSII, that you would pass a name and a print hello name. By compiling our source module using JSII, we can now package it as modules in one of the supported target languages. Each target module has exactly the same API as the source. This allows users of that target language to use hello JSII like any other class. Seeing how powerful the CDK was for cloud formation, we realized that this was a model that could help developers programmatically configure other systems, both on and off AWS. Any complex declarative system configuration could be abstracted via its own CDK. And with this in mind, we isolated the base classes of the AWS CDK into an open source standalone library that enables third parties to create their own CDK. The constructs programming model consists of a simple pattern that involves composing your resources using code and then synthesizing them into a configuration that the system being abstracted can understand. In the case of the AWS Developer Tools team, that system was cloud formation. But CDK's power is not limited to just cloud formation. In fact, one of the CDK's goal is to promote a rich community of third-party constructs. One example here is HashiCorp. AWS partnered to use the construct programming model to create a CDK for Terraform, called CDKTF. In addition, AWS used the construct programming model to create a CDK for Kubernetes, called CDKs. And these third-party CDKs allow developers to synthesize Terraform templates and Kubernetes manifests using a familiar programming language and each provides a command line interface allowing you to initialize your Terraform and Kubernetes projects, import resources, and more. The CDK has become the de facto software development framework internally at AWS, and customers are following suit. 
I'm excited to see what builders will create with existing CDKs. And I can't wait to see which customers and partners will be next to leverage the constructs programming model to create a CDK of their own. Since we launched the AWS CDK at the New York Summit last year, I've been inspired by all the useful constructs that our customers and the CDK community have created to help each other. For example, Steely is a fast-growing young business creating a self-service business-to-business trading network that automates trillions of dollars in transactions. Steady provides their customers with the ability to quickly connect and transact without having to go through painful point-to-point -point implementations. Steady chose to build with a fully serverless AWS architecture from day one, and they used the CDK along with Amplify on the front end to accelerate their development processes. This way, they're able to rapidly deliver a unique self-service model that differentiates them from traditional EDI, something that typically requires a lengthy setup by a third party. And Liberty Mutual, a diversified global insurer, has developed more than a thousand applications into non-production environments using CDK patterns, and more than a hundred applications into production. It has saved their developers time in deploying best-of-breed serverless applications and encouraged sharing across the entire organization. Liberty wanted to develop their CDK constructs using proven best practices for financial services before applying their own specific controls to implement capabilities such as compliance requirements with the appropriate guardrails. They decided on the AWS well-architected framework and specifically the AWS serverless application lens. That was the ideal starting point for them. The serverless lens is part of the well-architected framework and is more focused and specific than the broader framework, providing guarding guidance targeted at developers. Using the serverless lens, saved Liberty significant time investment on discovering and implementing best practices across the constructs that they had built, allowing it for faster uptake. Liberty has shared many of these constructs based on best practices at cdkpatterns.com. I encourage you to leverage these in your own projects or contribute to the library. Many customers are taking the constructs they are building and sharing them broadly with the community. There's a community constructs in the CDK Patterns library called CloudWatch Dashboard, created by software architect Matt Coulter that adds monitoring resources to your CDK apps. Another construct is called Lambda Power Tuner that will test your Lambda functions with multiple power configurations and help you choose the best combination to maximize performance or to minimize cost. Along with third-party developers and the open source community, AWS developers and engineers are also creating and sharing constructs in the AWS Solution Constructs library. It is an open source extension library for the CDK, covering a non number of common patterns involving multiple AWS services. It is designed with architectural principles like security in mind. These best practices include least privileged access, and monitoring. I really want to thank our 400 plus contributors as well as the entire CDK community for your incredible engagement and high quality work in making this project successful. There are new CDK constructs being published and downloaded every day by AWS, by our customers and by the community. If you can find what you're looking for, I encourage you to build your own constructs. There are lots of opportunities to get involved and make your own contribution. The story of how AWS developed the CDK is a classic example of abstraction in computer science. It's a generalization of an idea that hides the details of a process. In this case, CDK is an abstraction that generalizes the idea of managing infrastructure as code and hides the detail of maintaining cloud formation templates that govern the process of managing AWS resources. The CDK Solution Constructs Library, the CDK Patterns website, and other first and third party CDK constructs in turn are abstractions on top of the CDK. 
common patterns such as static websites and load balanced Fargate application hide many of the details of how the resources involved fit together and instead let the developer focus on the details of their application. Seeing the success of this CDK, both at AWS and with our customers, I expect the CDK to become the developer-preferred approach for building and configuring cloud services and other complex systems. It is going to be exciting to see what happens as the tools improve and make provisioning cloud services more accessible to a greater range of developers.